There are people that are also using uh, stem cells from other stem cell lines that aren't yours uh, and using those to boost people. It's sort of in the way that they use, I think it's called PRP, you know, with baseball players and that sort of thing where you're using, uh, you know, uh, he, uh, plasma, you know, injections to, mm. you know, to kind of boost your system. From other people? No, from themselves oh, okay. in, that, in that case. But, yeah, there are definitely people. In fact, Robert Hariri already, you know, uh, says take your own stem cells and put them in a refrigerator. Really? Yeah, and save them. Don't people save, like, um, Cord the blood. Um, umbilical cords of their babies? Yeah, yeah, and I highly recommend it. Really? Yeah, because— Did you, you know, do it? Uh, did I do it? Yeah. Or? Do you save the umbilical cords of your children, or do you have kids? Uh, I don't know if you have kids or not. I have kids, but okay. they were too— they were, oh, it was before that. Yeah, yeah okay. they were, it was before that you could do that. I would have absolutely done right. it. Right. Because basically— you But know, they make it super expensive, too. Well, it's more expensive than you want. Uh, yeah. And again, it would be nice if this sort of thing would go mainstream. Yeah. You know, uh, but the FDA is kind of watches that too. But Bob Hariri is the guy, he's in the book. He's the guy, the first guy to figure that out. He, really? Yeah. Yeah. He was, he was a guy that, uh, I mean, he was, he, he was a trauma surgeon. And, and so he was actually dealing one day with uh, a woman uh, whose husband had been massively damaged you know brain damage uh, oh, in a car accident and he was trying to console her and and trying to figure out how could i help this guy and he went down and his own f child before she was born was uh his wife was getting a sonogram and he's looking at the sonogram and he goes wow he goes there's the embryo and then there's this big mass there and he realized that it was the placenta and he goes wow he goes that's big what's it doing you know and what's it what it's doing is it's pumping tons of stem cells into the baby. And so he said, we just tossed this stuff in the garbage, literally. You know, it's called the afterbirth. And he said, so when he said, I realized that what it is is a stem cell factory. And he said, so that's what he's been working on for 25 years. And, is, is, and he's, he's making real progress now in trying to create medicine where you can use the stem cells, your own stem cells or your children's stem cells, and you know, create a medicine so that you can either inject or take a pill that would solve problem. An example would be sarcopenia, which is muscle wasting. Now, everybody gets muscle wasting disease as they age, just mm -hmm. part of what aging is. And sarcopenia is something that get, you get, you know, when you're younger, and so they try to solve that problem, and it's very difficult to solve. It's genetic. So... Uh, what he's, what he, that's one of the first things he wants to do is to be able to solve that for aging because, as he pointed out, he said, when a 30-year-old man has turned 60, he's lost 60, you know, he's just using a men, men as an example, uh, he's lost 60% of his muscle mass. And he said, when you lose 60% of your muscle mass, you're not just losing muscle, you're losing almost 100%. Bone mass, too? You're, you're, you're losing vascular uh, capability that's that's mm -hmm. most of your vascular system is in your muscle and that's what's delivering your immune system that's what's delivering all the nutrients to your body and so you're just going downhill and so he figures if he can come up with a way to reboost you know muscle mass hmm. then you're boosting the whole system interesting you know so there's that's where I think the first breakthroughs. I wrote this when the book came out. I wrote an article in uh, the Hill, uh, and and I basically said I think there are four things that are going to happen. You know, within the next at that time five to ten years. So now we're four years in. Uh, you know, first stem cells, which will boost and and lengthen a uh, healthy life, and the second thing is uh, genomics. I mean, we're rapidly, and AI is helping this, uh, you know, we're rapidly figuring out what's going on with the human genome, mm -hmm. you know, which, what the hell? I mean, it's so complicated. And, uh, and the third thing is really under, you know, what Calico is working on, really trying to understand what are those switches. Once you understand the genomics well enough, then what are the systems in the body that are causing aging and then turn them off and then... AI is absolutely necessary to figuring that out because you're not going to get a bench scientist that can get down there and look at cells and, and figure it out. It's all happening way too fast. So the guy who was in the 
violent car accident. Mm -hmm. Was he able to help him at all with stem cells? No, because, um, well, first of all, uh, it was just the concept, you know, that okay. it was like the light bulb went off, okay. but then he had to figure out, well, what's the placenta? And he had to do all sorts of research and everything. He has more degrees than... And is there a difference you know, between using the placenta and the umbilical cord? Yeah, yeah. The placenta, well, the umbilical cord is what is the connection between uh, the placenta and the baby and okay. the mother. You okay. know, so they're, you know, but it's, it's this little engine that's just, it's what makes stem cells. So you want to save the placenta, not yes. the umbilical cord. Right, right. But people do also, there's a lot in the cord blood. Cord you know, blood. Okay. A lot of people do that. Uh, but if, if I were giving advice to anybody, and I'm not a doctor, but, you know, I would say look into, if you're having a child, you know, saving the placenta. Don't throw away the afterbirth. And what is the benefit of having the placenta of your own child versus people who just get stem cells from, how does it work other, otherwise? Does it, people just get random stem cells? That's a really great question. It's a really important one too. Um, if you uh, are using your own stem cells, then they recognize themselves. And so they, they will literally go in and boost you. Okay. You know, if it's somebody else's cells, then what happens uh, is they'll go in and your body goes, okay, this is boosting, and there are these uh, um, communicators called exosomes that every cell has, and they, and, and they create the communication between different cells, and there's billions and billions of them in, in every cell. And so what happens is when somebody else's stem cells are injected, they're released, and they seem to boost your own cells, but the stem cells themselves, you know, within a week are just you know, go out of your system. Mm -hmm. But if they're your own stem, stem cells, then let's say, uh, I don't know, let's say you have heart problem, you know, and you get your, uh, your body injected with your own stem cells into your own body, your body's going to start, you know, looking around for trouble because that's what it does. That's what stem cells do. They, they're replenishing wow. your body all the time and it's going to find trouble and it's going to fix it. But even like a jammed artery can do that. Well, it'll make it younger. You know, it'll oh, make okay. it more pliable. It'll right. make it. Okay. You know, it may not get rid of the plaque. Mm -hmm. You know, but uh, it'll make it. You know, be able to handle it better. Son of a bitch, Steve! I have to have another kid now. <laughs> I thought I was done. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, uh, even it's still not too late. I mean, no matter how old any of us is and mm -hmm. or how old your children are it's 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 relatively simple to uh save your own stem cells so if you have young children you can still save their oh really yeah you can you can have the fat you know have some fat pulled out mm -hmm. and once you once you have the stem cell then you can create lines of stem cells you know so you can create millions and millions of stem cells that are all identical copies okay and so it's not like you need to constantly re-inject so where do I take my baby? Uh, I got a one-year-old. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Can I just go to CVS and <laughs> take the stem cells? Uh, wouldn't that be nice? Let's, <laughs> let's, 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 get, let's get to that soon. Is there a drive through Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I'll put you in touch with Bob Hariri. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He created the first com or the first company to okay. to save placental stem cells. Oh, wow. In fact, I think he did cord blood first. Yeah. <sighs>